Now that the power rack is stable, equipment is of course required in order to be able to use it effectively. For this, I found an old bicycle trailer and removed the two tires. I then noticed that the rims had a lot of rust, which I then sanded clean with an angel grinder. Then, with the support of the angel grinder with the cutting disc, I removed the wheel hubs. I didn't remove the bicycle spoke so that the concrete could adhere better. Since the tire was still perfectly fine, I inflated it with an air in order to have protection in case the disc should fall on the ground. So that the barbel can hold the discs, there should of course be a hole in the middle of the disc. Here I still had an old Wacom cleaner pipe which was exactly the right size. As a result, I simply shortened this according to the height of the tire. When mixing the concrete, care must be taken to ensure that the same amount of material is used for both discs so that there is no imbalance. The next steps are pretty simple and self-explanatory. Just check it out. After you have worked all the concrete into the rim, you should make sure that the piece of pipe is in the middle. Then you can tap it from each side with a plastic hammer so that the air holes close and the concrete can compact better. Meanwhile, I noticed that I could optimize the look a bit with bottle cams. I then carefully place this on the concrete and press it a little bit so that the concrete could hold it while it hardened.
know that both paints had dried, they had to be labeled. Please note that it can take up to three to four weeks for the concrete to harden completely. For the labeling of 12 kilograms, I printed out every single number on paper and punched it out with a carpet knife. Then just put it on a disc and color in the numbers you like.